Hey, hello everybody, this is JB3 here, and uh, wish everybody a happy holidays, uh, Merry Christmas for those who celebrate that. Uh, so today we're going to be running Halo at a perfectly decent little Halo run that was about, I don't know, 27 minutes, and I got everybody and everything, but I just, I don't know, it was too many mistakes, thought I could do a little bit better, so we're going to give that a go. I've been running it a little bit here and there, this is my third time trying to run it today, so my third time doing this intro. See if we can make something a bit better of this opportunity. The last two ended heartbreakingly near the end, so. So basically, what happened in both cases uh, is I died uh, at the uh, last um, set of Marines that I was there to rescue. Uh, and, you know, it's, I don't know, they were just basic, normal deaths, nothing too crazy. But uh, in each case, I was on about a 25-minute pace, so I'm hoping to get that down to... Um, no, no, I mean, 25 would be fine, actually. I, that'd be fine for now. But it'd be nice to get it down uh, to, I guess, uh, below 25. Yeah, I tried to do that slow so I get them all. I mean, there's no real time rush here, and I don't have a mouse and keyboard. Nor have I set my sensitivity to a 40, so... But it didn't work, but that's okay, that's fine. I've decided not to make that the standard of whether I keep a run as to whether or not I get that, uh... There we go, round the leg. Oh, got them both. That's actually, actually really nice. All right. So the quicker we kill these guys, the uh, quicker we'll get the Banshees, I believe. I believe it works something like that. A little frustrated uh, that I have, like, no grenades, uh, plasma grenades. Just hoping at least uh, I'd run across some there uh, when I was... Uh... One thing you want to do with these banshees, you want to make sure when you start shooting them that you see that little, uh, I don't know, bullet explosion or whatever on the hull. If you don't see that, then you're not actually hitting the banshee, I believe. So that right there, initially I wasn't hitting him, I don't think. Or either that or I missed it. And of course, you want to make sure and uh, whittle them down to low health. And then, uh, both of them down to low health. And then, uh, go ahead and finish them off. That's if you want to kill them both. Uh, if you kill one, then the other one bugs out and can be pretty hard to kill. Especially, if, well, almost impossible if you haven't whittled his health down. Because he'll get up to a point where you can't hit him with the gun. And then he'll just fly off. But yeah, I was a little frustrated I didn't get enough, uh, or any more uh, plasma grenades from that uh, grunt pile, the original ones I killed. And so now I'm set with no grenades. I'm hoping to get a handful of them here. And I, I, not that there aren't plenty of opportunities to, he just dodged that, which is fine. We'll just pepper him like we're playing Reach on Lazo. All right, we got one there. Dude, come out, please. Why, why, why does there always have to be some little crap to slow things down? Anyway, so we have, we got two of them back. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard to explain, but I guess I, I, I'd like to go into this battle having uh, three or more. Uh, the reason why is not because I need the plasma grenades here, but I might need them here later. If I collect them now, then I can't get them later whenever I come back over here for the third dropship. Uh, they're not clustered together, so that's not going to get anybody. Normally, they're clustered together, so this is going to take probably a little bit longer. Yeah, that elite dropped none, so I'm just going to have to get these and hope that that's enough for us. I like to get closer to this uh, forerunner structure before I kill the last guy. It makes it easier to get to this uh, dropship faster. Unless you kill those Marines, which I, I don't want to do on purpose for the purposes of playing the game well. If they get in my way, I don't mind killing them, but in this case, they're just uh, slowing things down. But notice how this dropship comes right out. So the dropships in this area, if you know, they work really frustratingly. So if you're too close to them, if you get to them too fast, they won't come down. You have to like step back a certain distance. 
I killed him. That killed him, so we're good. It's kind of the same concept here. I want to try to get away from this drop ship and maybe leave one guy alive if I can. There's a jackal that I think got away over there. Yeah, he did. And I'd rather leave him alive. I don't like the fact that it's a jackal, though, because I don't think the Marines... Uh, the Marines He could wipe out all the Marines because they have so much trouble killing him unless they throw a grenade. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe him out anyway. I'd much rather have left him alive, though. But I think another jackal got away, too. So we're going to hope that that happened. But notice how I have to step back here to get it to kind of come down. But if you're too late, it just comes down as fast as possible. Which is, you know, garbage, but whatever. If I can't get them both, that's why the second grenade exists there. If I can't get them both with that throw, which I just missed it, I didn't get it in the middle enough, then uh, I'll throw the other grenade. I don't want to leave any of these guys alive because I want to see, I want to make sure I can be able to get their grenades and make sure they don't come up from behind. So they're all dead. And, and plus, we have plenty of time to get over to this dropship before it comes down, as long as you're moving in that direction. Notice here, I mean, I have no problems. I'm going to get to it early. So, again, once you get to it, if you get to it early, then it won't come down for, like, a long time unless you walk a certain distance away from it. So, notice here, I have to go all the way back here. I know the line's right about there. Then I can start pushing forward. But if you're tier too late, then it comes down as fast as uh, humanly possible. Oh, sh Oh, shit. It <laughs> Oh, thank God for those other grunts uh, berserking because, or freaking out because otherwise I think they'd have got me there. I blew myself up with the grenade that kicked. I'm having trouble with the long distance headshots here. It's just a part of being in C. But I'm going to actually leave that guy alive so this drop ship won't come down as fast. I mean, actually, it wouldn't have mattered because I think it's just two left over. But I, I thought I had that. I thought there was a jackal back there still. So, anyway. But we're going to get here actually in decent time. This is fine. This isn't perfect by any means. That should get them all. And it does. I'm going to try to take out some of these grunts so they don't just needle me to death. Yeah. yeah, he's got that needler. Oh, man, I, I didn't get close. I, I screwed this up. I screwed this up, and I had the wrong grenade out just then. So what I'd rather have done there, obviously, is um, I'd much rather have... Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna. This is going to end, so... Let's see if I can save it. Oh, I got the health, so we're good. That's everybody, all right. Ah, that's, you know what? I'll take seven, and seven minutes and 45 seconds. That's not bad. It's not bad. It could be better. I'm not saying I've done a whole lot better a lot of times, but that could be better. Yeah, I messed up. I forget how fast that dropship comes down if you're not right under it. Or even if you are, maybe I think it comes down on a timer. I, you know. <laughs> I usually like to be around the side of it, stick the elite, and then uh, just be able to mop up the grenade, uh, the grunts with the grenade or whatever but anyway we're scavenging and we found a trove of plasma grenades there that's really good decent plasma pistol we're our ammo health we're good we're good and we're close enough to hopping right on this thing see so yeah, I getting out of here or get finishing that off with you know that's the last of them at around 7 30 7 45 that's a really good goal for me so I'm not too mad about that we got that elite pretty nicely I just switched to the new graphics because I think it's cool to look at them a little bit in this level while we don't have to worry about their effect on uh, the combat or the lighting or anything like that. The tunnel's really pretty here, but every time I go through it on the new graphics, I just think of how this felt when I first went through it. Or when I was first going through it, or if I haven't played it for a while and go through it. Just that the dark... Those, the darkness, the silvers, that little bit of fog. I don't know how to explain it, but there's just too much nostalgia to that. Uh, the visuals there, so I always keep on the old graphics. Uh, even though the tunnels are pretty. But as you guys know, I'm partial to the old graphics. I was... Uh... Yeah, there was an elite walking out there. 
uh, in the middle, which sometimes there is. So I decided to go for that grunt, I guess. But what I like to do here is just kind of ride along those boxes, like try to find a way to get rid of those jackals because they overcharge. You know, they basically uh, you know, do the best job at stripping your shields from distance because of their uh, overcharges. And all they got to do is hit your truck. Unlike in uh, modern Halos, new Halos, uh, it just strips your shields. It doesn't, like, you know, disable the truck. I'm just letting my gunner do some of the work here. But at some point, we're going to get out. And I think we're getting close to that time where it's best just to, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. He killed another grunt, which is nice. They're the most dangerous thing when you're trying to splatter. Let's see if we can get this jackal off in the distance. And we do. We get a... An elite there, that's nice. What? Yeah, there's a grunt over here. I I didn't realize that. He just light me up. I kept hearing the needles, and I wasn't really paying attention because I thought they were going towards my uh, teammate whenever I was in the truck. I thought they were like needles from the other side. I don't know what I was thinking there. I just kept hearing them. And uh, I thought the Elite was just getting off uh, those uh, lucky shots with his little uh, plasma rifle there. His little aimbot shots. So I'm going to park it here so I can get it and leave fast. We're just going to get in here and uh, make this guy run backwards. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't chain me, don't chain me. There we go. And then there's three Elites up here, of course. That guy came out fast, probably because I got that kill really close to the where he's at. Yeah, this usually goes a little smoother. <laughs> really? Really? You're just sitting back here doing nothing, really? God damn it. I don't know if it's not keeping up with my inputs or if I'm just... Getting the button order wrong there, trying to move too fast. I was I meant to release the uh, overcharge, but threw the grenade instead and put the overcharge away. Pretty sure I released it beforehand, but I'm probably wrong. I'm trying to get better at doing commentary while playing, but it's really hard for me at least. I usually get so sweaty. And while talking at the same time, it's just hard because I try to keep upbeat. I'm generally a very upbeat person. And when I play video games for stupid challenges like legendary deathless and kill everybody and do it fast. Like the developers <laughs> did not mean for you to play it that way. In fact, uh, on legendary difficulty, I'm sure they meant for it to be really hard to do that. They didn't want their legendary difficulty to look silly. But anyway... I'm trying to, yeah, trying to be upbeat. Again, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm generally an upbeat person. I really am. New on, the on the outside. What <laughs> the hell's wrong with me? Anyway. All right, so we got three bars of health, which doesn't matter because we're about to pick up a health. Now, I've made up my own routing here. I've never seen one route the way I route here. It's probably slower, but I really think it's fun. And I actually don't think it's slower. I think it could be faster. Because I haven't spent enough time on it. But I think it's actually kind of unique. And I think it, it takes advantage of something that uh, people rarely take advantage of in this game. Because there's uh, fewer opportunities to do so than uh, there are in other Halo games. We'll get to it, I promise. I'll show you. So first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to go over here and pick up this uh, sniper ammo health and pistol ammo and some uh, fraggy frags. And we're going to go from there. Right off the bat, pick up the sniper rifle. My uh, B button on my controller, which is what I use to pick up weapons and stuff, is uh, impaired right now. So I have to ha hammer it pretty hard, which makes it worse, probably. So we're going to go backwards. <laughs> so sometimes I have trouble picking up weapons quickly. Um, anyway, so we're going to go backwards here, and we're going to snipe the elites on this side and any jackals and perhaps any grunts that want to show up uh, and get shot in the face. I don't know why that didn't register as a headshot initially, but did the second time. It felt like both were headshots. That I understand. The other one I don't. Right in the head. I don't, I don't get it, man. It's such a variable head bot, hit shot 
head <laughs> headshot hitbox. I'm telling you, doing this in commentary at the same time is so hard. I already don't talk well. Dude! Just die. That should go through your shit and hit your head. Whatever that thing, methane tank hood on the back is. It should go through it for that shot. I could shoot three elites through each other. Why can't that go through his clothes? To his head. I get why it can't. I, don't worry. I'm not an idiot. I still don't understand the variability of the uh, headshot hitboxes in this game. It's so random feeling sometimes, even though you see really, really skilled players and it doesn't look as nearly as random to them. But in C, it really does look random. Like, you can't just do it like you can in the other Halos. Almost every other Halo, except for maybe Reach, you just it just doesn't work the same. Even Reach is easier, much easier. But So, alright, so what you're probably wondering is why the hell did I just go over there and then leave? All right, so I'm going to tell you why. First thing I want to do is snipe these guys just to thin them out so they don't, a lot of them don't get hit in those rocks. Maybe the Marines can do their job and take care of them. <sighs> My lord. So we're out of sniper, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So just want to make it to where the Marines have a chance at taking out the rest of whatever the hell else is over there. And then we're going to go and we're going to pick up that Marine with the sniper rifle. Yes, that's right, Sniper Hog. It is bad ass in this game. Every one of you has probably done it at least once. but uh, Or maybe remember doing it with Johnson and uh, the level assault on the control room. Man, it is badass for our purposes here. So we're just hoping that he gets in and one of the other Marines don't. Usually he will. Right now, I'm worried that that guy is going to try to get in. I don't want to run him over. All right, stop sniping people. Yeah, he's trying to get in. And, oh, I was trying to pull up to the sniper guy, and he got in the way of a very, very slow-moving hog. That was uh, not, my, not my fault. Oops. But, yeah, this is badass. This loadout, well, loadout, this uh, little setup is badass, and you're going to see why. You're going to see why. So the biggest fear you have right here after this dropship drops off dudes, which you can delay it by trying to kill or snipe less, but uh, the problem is that if you snipe less, then you might come over here and the dropship doesn't come for a while, and there's some dude stuck in those rocks. But basically what you're trying to do now is you want to stop these enemies from going into the rocks after the Marines. Not because you want to keep the Marines alive, but because you don't want any stragglers left over once you're finished... Uh, running people over with the warthog because that's what we're going to try to do we're going to try to do a lot of splatting but splatting is a hell of a lot easier whenever the sniper and the uh 50 cal gunner are working in conjunction they will destroy these guys they'll take out grunts from uh, the sniper guy takes out grunts from a distance will absolutely destroy these uh elites i mean they're just awesome but right now i want to stop off and pick up uh, the sniper here because we still want it and we've got plenty of time till this uh, um, dropship drops off as people. It seems so far away, but the hog is so fast. And we're going to get over to it just in time. I think, I hope, I think, I hope. Yep, we're going to slow here just in case. I think I slowed a little too much, though. Um, or waited a little too long there, rather. And the reason why is because uh, I, was come, I had to come up out of that... Um, I had to come uphill to get to a start there, so I didn't quite splat as well as I wanted to. But anyway. So, like, yeah. Any grunt that's at a distance, like, you don't have to go chase him down with the hog. You don't have to hope the 50 cal guy eventually gets him. The sniper guy will get him. I'm trying to time this just right. And I kind of did a much... I finally did a pretty decent job of it. We just got overcharged, but that's okay. These guys aren't going to... Uh, hurt us too badly they're all running scared but look at that wiped out now you take the other exit if you're gonna try this method take the other exit or entrance whatever you want to call it not the one you came in on take this one most people don't come through here but this is really the best way to go and you go straight forward notice how that just opens right up to this area now this is the other area this is the one we haven't been to yet we're going to get out here, and this is the best place to snipe from if you want to do that. 
you get a better shot at most all the elites from over here as opposed to the other one. The other entrance to this area. Oh, goodness gracious. We got an early elite there. Headshots are finally starting to work. Of course, now I'm going to jinx it. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, that's what I'm talking about right there. Alright. I missed him. Oh, damn it. First missed shot. First legit missed shot, I think. But that wasn't a miss. That wasn't a miss. Get wrecked, nerds. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that can be so satisfying. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just wish that was, that was more consistent. The hitboxes are my performance. I'm not sure which one I'm talking about there for real, but we're going to go pick up the final bit of sniper ammo that we'll ever need for this level. Um, where the hell are you? And why aren't you guys shooting at this dude? Just shoot at him. We want that dropship to come down, but it will come down when there's uh, one enemy left, so we're good here. Don't ask. Don't ask. It's just that I'm bad. That's the problem. We got time, though. We're good. It's just, you know, there's no excuse for, like, straight slamming into a rock. I want to try to get these elites. And I get one of them. I really would like to have gotten more. But once you start killing them... See, right there, that's the sniper killing him. That's the sniper. That wasn't me running him over. Sniper got that guy. He is so fast. He makes this so much faster. All right, so now we're going to take out, take the other exit. The one that we would, I would used to normally enter on. So not the one we came in on, but the one we went out on. That doesn't even make sense. The one that we're going out on now. And we're going to go right over to here. So this is the final section. This is the other entrance. And we're going to snipe the elites over here. And that way we'll have all the elites done for before we even have to uh, go inside the structure. There we go. But the problem is, is that sometimes they dodge bullets. But sometimes what happens is, is that once you've... Uh, kind of made a mockery of them on one side on the other side they're a lot more cautious so this will take longer to the point where we might get out and use the vehicle the problem is again is with the vehicles that there's so much cover in this area but notice how we've got plenty of snipers so we can suffer some uh, missed shots some poor performance there including poor back back reloads get wrecked fool Oh, wait, wait, there's grunts up top of there. That dude's dead. And that dude's dead. Nice, nice, nice. All we should have to do is go through the middle, clear out guys, and then there may be some jackals and stuff that have been hanging out that'll try to meet us at the entrance or the exit, you know, which way you go in. In this case, it'll be, they're going to try to meet us at the exit, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be ready for them. If you want, you can go ahead and drop your sniper rifle here for a plasma pistol. I probably should have just headshot him or grabbed his plasma pistol and high DPS'd him to death. I tried to bank that, hoping it would bounce him somehow. It didn't work. It would have been funny, though. He fell off. He's dead. What the hell are you doing? How did you survive? He survived barely, obviously, because he was um, very low health. He only took one melee whack to kill. Usually it takes three if he's full health. So he took some of that grenade earlier. I oh, just got overcharged. But we're, we're going faster. We're going fast enough. Get wrecked. Where's the other guy? I can hear him. Dude, I, he can't be down there. He's up there? Is he up there? I thought I saw him, but I thought I, I thought there's only two grunts that are up there. Maybe it's four. All right, all right, that's good. That's good. So we should admit. Oh man, can you imagine? Oh. I haven't looked at the times. We could have met, We could have finished this in under 24 minutes if it weren't for that straggler and maybe a couple of more mistakes not being made. 
When I started doing this routing, I legitimately had to like do three checkpoints just so I'd remember exactly where this this thing lands because I almost never I would always come to this first for the longest time. I and in, in any speed runs or anything I've ever seen, I don't see people do this one last. And so I had no idea where this uh this pelican landed i like I, I went over to the very beginning and all that stuff so i had to figure it out but uh it took me like three checkpoints to figure out exactly where it lands because i was so far away from it but anyway so we're we're finished with halo at least for now 24 minutes 31 seconds not too bad um i will say there's one wick exception in this game and that's the enemies that are in between when you uh rescue marines the reason why is because there's so many different uh variables uh there can be infantry there can be banshees i think if you move too fast in between the uh, objectives they don't show up so uh, in the spirit of wick i think we're just going to ignore that um but let me know in the comments what you guys think um i hope you guys are enjoying the your uh, holidays the rest of your day and if it's way past holidays and you're watching this I hope you're enjoying your day as well i'll see you